Welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about selecting data from our DB2 tables. Now, what good is a table if you can't get the data back out that you put into it? That's why there is the select statement. So just to get some vocabulary correct, the select is an example of a statement and the from is an example of a clause. So the clause kind of gives more information to the statement. Without this from, DB2 would have to just guess what table you're going to get your data from. And that requires mind reading, and unfortunately mind reading is only available in the Enterprise Editions, so you're going to have to settle with using that from clause. <laughs> so the general structure is here goes the columns, and we just have a star, which in computer science this is known as a wild card, which means basically anything. Anything goes when you have a star. The data right here is the table you are selecting from, so columns, tables. If there is any ambiguity on what table you are referring to, you can prefix it with the schema, db2inst1.users. And you can see it works just the same. Check the result set. Yeah, there you go. But now instead of using this wildcard, I want to be specific on what I want to select from this database. So to do that, it's really super easy. Just go here and delete that star. The asterisk is what it's called and just type the column names that you want to select. And you can actually do this in any order. So I could start with the email if I wanted. And now when we view our result set, you can see it only gives us the email first name and last name. Now you look at these columns and you think, oh, that's disgusting. Who would want to look at an underscore and blah. So there's actually ways you can change the way that these columns present themselves. And that's with what is known as an alias. So an alias is just a nickname for nickname, oh, that's confusing. <laughs> so we'll see that in practice and it'll make sense. So let's go up to our select statement and we're going to change the way this looks a little bit. I'm going to bring each column down on a new line so it's very easy to see. And then what you do is you use the as keyword. And then in double quotes, you say what you want it to show up as. So I'm just gonna say first name. So I got rid of those nasty underscores and it's gonna look really beautiful when I do my reporting. My boss is going to love me, give me a promotion, and so forth. So in conclusion, always be sure to use the as keyword. <laughs> oh, we run that and we see we got an error. And let's look. Ah, I accidentally deleted the comma after email. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, that's so delicious. Now that is how you make a good select statement. Oh, this should be a comment, by the way, which takes two dashes, not one. <laughs> now the select statement is extremely, extremely powerful. Honestly, without the select statement, databases would be useless. <laughs> Some people focus their entire career on just select statements. So it's a big, big topic, but it's extremely valuable. So that's all I got for select statements in this video. Pretty simple, but nice and to the point. So thank you for watching. Please be sure to subscribe. Check the description for any links. And also be sure to check out the next video. Thank you and peace out.